Number three, opportunistic celibacy. Number four, renunciation of all human endeavor. And the fifth and final pillar of Euphoria, a full circle aesthetic reevaluation. My current response to every worldwide or personal tragedy is, it's disgusting. I love it. I hope it gets even worse. Okay, I'm Dostoevsky, you're Anna, we're writing The Gambler. Pay my dictation. Who's ever written the great work about the immense effort required in order not to create? Intensity without mastery. The obsessiveness of the utterly passive. And could it be that in this passivity, I shall find my freedom? Well, I'm heading over there. Hey man, what are you doing? You're supposed to be getting this down. It's pretty good there. You seen Gary around? No. Does he still live in the same place? I told you, no one's seen him for months. Well, later. What was that obsessiveness line again? Obsessiveness without personality. What are you talking about? Excuse me. Say, pal. Did I hear you say you got a friend that's missing? Well, I doubt he's missing. He's just not around. Oh, yeah, well, I've been reading in the World Weekly News, you know, just a little while ago. There was a guy out here on the street. He's found wandering around, didn't know who he was, didn't know where he came from, anything like that. Oh, he's perfectly healthy, but he's a complete amnesiac, you know? A lot of people like that found uh, just wandering around lately. You know, no history, no nothing. It's weird, huh? You know about the uh, suppressed transmission, of course. No? Ah, well, this is the uh, 20th anniversary of the moonwalk, you know, and way back there when they <laughs> given us that one giant step for mankind bit. Oh, yeah. Another astronaut's in the background yelling his fool head off, saying, oh, my God, what's that over in the crater? What the hell is that? Well, NASA cuts him off just like that. But those of us with the right kind of radios, you know what I mean? Yeah, we got enough of it. The gist of it, what there's a giant spacecraft over in the other crater. Looking at them. That's right. Oh, it all begins to leak out then that the space program is just one giant big cover-up. You know, it's a covert operation between the United States government and the Soviet Union. It's been going on for over 30 years. We've been on the moon since the 50s. <laughs> you want to know how we got there, right? I'll tell you. Anti-grav drive. Anti-gravity technology. We stole it from the Nazis after the end of World War II. It's perfectly obvious. I, you know, I was watching this Late Late Show. A lot of truth in the Late Late Show. You know, they slip it through there. They figure nobody's watching, but anyway, it's a sci-fi movie called Alternative 3. And uh, it's about <laughs> kidnapping people, using a little psychosurgery on them, you know, and uh, turn them into zombies and making them colonize the moon and Mars. <laughs> Funny, huh? Except it's absolutely true. All of it. We've been on Mars since 62. It was May 22nd. That's a very important date for you to remember, pal. Yeah, it's my birthday. Right, so, see, the reason we're up there covertly is because of the greenhouse effect. It all ties in. Yeah, greenhouse effect, you know. But by the way, they discovered that in the 40s. You can ask yourself what they've been doing, sitting on their ass for 49 years, huh? While we're out here with some serious social diseases and everything else. Oh, never mind that. But everybody says, oh, greenhouse effect, 100 years from now. Uh, I'll be long dead gone and out of here. Not so, my friend, not so. No, government's setting on the fact that it's 10 to 20 years maximum. <laughs> it's getting hotter, don't you think? Yeah, it's not even summer yet. Yeah, and when the polar ice caps begin to melt, it's not going to take a certified genius to understand that we're in serious global confusion. I mean, really, we're in massive mainline ecological chaos. Anyway, it's happening even as we speak. So, I'll tell you what they've already done. They've colonized outer space. Oh, they couldn't colonize everybody. No, no, that'd be global bankruptcy. Yeah, and we couldn't beat the greenhouse effect anyway. This secret group, you know, the group that's in charge of the government. Oh, yeah. They're going to get boosted off this rock before it melts. And the rest of us, pff, what do they care? They, we're going to be left here to fry. <laughs> by the way, something you should know. See, this entire operation is being funded by the profits from the Medellin drug cartel. And that's specifically set up by the CIA to handle large sums of money being funneled into this project. Keep it on your hat. <sighs> yeah, but the people they need, like scientists, you heard about that? All the missing scientists around the world and those that mysteriously dying. That's all part of the recruiting process. I really hope your friend is not, well, yeah, they need a lot of lackeys to do the labor, though. So they'll be looking for ordinary guys, you know, just like you and me. Yeah, they need those to kind of colonize things, you know? They do a little psychosurgery on us, a little liquid lobotomy here. Well, but I know this for a fact. 
They got this drug down in Guatemala, the rainforest. What do you think the CIA is down there hacking the hell out of that forest, huh? Make sense? Sure it does. Yeah, this drug takes away your long-term memory, leaves your short-term memory. So there you are. Well, you got people that don't know who they are, where they came from, but you tell them to do something, they do it. They can follow instructions. Perfect employees. Sounds like most people I know. So, they must like children too, because the statistics of the FBI since 1980 said that 350,000 children are just missing. They disappear. There are not that many perverts around. You know, the worst thing about this, pal, is that you're in close proximity to all this. Yeah, I mean, Houston's right down the road. You know, the main headquarters. NASA. Sure. And the main headquarters around the world, well, Geneva, look, New York. I gotta Moscow. go see this friend of mine, okay? And oh, yeah, right in here. Is this it? Okay. Hey, well, look, pal, it's been nice talking to you, see? Yeah. I really hope your friend isn't one of them already. Oh, well, I'm sure he's not. Yeah, well, I just thought you had the right to know. Thanks. Tell you what, listen, I'm gonna stick around outside just for a little while, you know, and uh, kind of make sure everything's okay. Yeah. You know, make sure we weren't... Have a nice day.